All right, thanks a lot, Kelly. Well, on the roads tonight, unfortunately, Kelly described it as treacherous. Yeah, police across central Indiana reporting hundreds of crashes and slide-offs. And this is why. Check out this video shared by state police. This was on I-65 in southern Indiana just within the hour, those blowing snow conditions. want to also give you a live look to the north at I-69. At times, you can see drivers dealt with whiteout conditions there right now. Definitely snow-covered roads. Our Alan Carter is on the road. He's on his way back from Muncie tonight. Hi, Alan. Hey, hey, Jenny. We just crossed into Anderson now here on 69, and it's been kind of hit and miss in some spots. When we first got in, coming out of Muncie, it looked pretty good. Uh, but right now, you can see the conditions on the road a little bit rougher here uh, on 69 as we cross. On a Saturday night, the roads in Muncie were especially quiet, and for good reason. It was rough out there. Yeah, it's like freezing, and there's a winter weather advisory out right now. Delaware County feeling the effects of this winter storm for much of the day. Early in the afternoon, we saw one van come off the interstate. The rain, wind, and ice taking a toll on the streets and windshields. Well, I mean, when I see this in my car, I think, well, it could be like that on the street. After a slow start, there's no doubt that we are now in winter. We need some sock trucks, people driving 10 miles per hour, can't get home, late for work, got to pick their kids up. With conditions clearly treacherous, there's at least one guy who doesn't see what all the fuss is about. This is really not that big of a deal. It seems like an overreaction. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> to me, it does. Still, David Mitchell knew it was probably better just to grab a movie and spend this night indoors. Not a bad thing to do. Hang out, wait this out, because they're like we were saying, in these road conditions, we'll go ahead and take another live look here on 69. It's a little bit rough, and it is patchy, and it's going to get even colder tonight. Waking up, that's obviously going to be a concern when you're talking about the ice and the wind. Let's go ahead and go back up to Carmel. That's where Mary Mills is standing by. Mary, what are you seeing out there? Hey, Alan, we're on Main Street, and the snow has stopped falling. We've got maybe an inch or so on the ground, slushy roads. Got to tell you, it's been very quiet. Haven't seen too many people out and about, which is a good thing given conditions. But we also have to tell you, we met a man tonight who stayed in his house thinking he'd be safe, and then he still had some storm issues. As the freezing rain turned to snow, the roads turned slick with most traffic along US 31 moving at less than 30 miles an hour. The Hamilton County Sheriff even issued a travel advisory for secondary roads. Everybody's safe. While the man who lives in this house heeded the warnings and stayed at home. I can't remember the noise. It just happened so fast. And I looked out there and there's this tree on my porch. A very large tree It came crashing down on Pat Thomas's house taking out his porch and part of his roof. It happened as he sat in the back room watching TV, and not long after, he saw a storm update. And I thought, wouldn't that be something to have another tree come through here? And look what happened. Don't think bad thoughts. Thomas, who lives adjacent to a wooded area, says this was the third tree to hit his house. Fortunately, the retired firefighter wasn't hurt, and fortunately, he has a generator. The downed tree knocked out power to a number of nearby homes. A crew from Duke Energy arrived as we were leaving, saying this outage was one of several they were called out on. We got a broken pole that we know of right now. We got a crew on that has a transformer, uh, transformer station on it, so that's going to be a long fix. We're waiting on tree trimmers right now. We have a, a massive tree branch that broke some wire now. Uh, we're kind of at the mercy of the tree trimmers right now since we can't trim our own trees. And the snow has stopped, so that helps in some ways, but uh, folks out there trying to make repairs still face a number of challenges, especially as the wind picks up and the temperatures drop. Jenny. That man as well. All right, Mary Mills, Life Force in Carmel, thanks so much.